Welcome back to my channel. Today is day five of the oatmeal collab with the Organized Pineapple and Danny Day's Homestead. So this is the wrap up where I talk about everything that happened during the week. The first day was your basic oatmeal. Some information about steel cut oats. A lot of people may not have tried them. So I wanted to put some information out about steel cut oats. And then I wanted to progress through and show you different ways that you could have steel cut oats. They're shelf stable. They're in your prepper pantry. And you could use them in different ways, different variety of toppings, and enjoy all of them. The second day, I made a lunch with steel cut oats. It actually turned out wonderful. I put a stir fry mixture on top of the steel cut oats and I warmed it up for lunch. It was a big hit with my family and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The next day I went into sweet treats and I call it a steel cut oat buffet sweet treat bar. Now that's a long name but what it was steel cut oats obviously was first and foremost. And I had all types of sweet things that you could put on it. It is near the end of school or school should, could be already out. Holiday seasons are coming up. You have Memorial Day and 4th of July. This would be something that would be wonderful to have at a barbecue. Inside, have steel cut oats that are cold, different toppings, and let them make their own dessert with healthy steel cut oats. Not everything that you might put on top of those steel cut oats are super healthy, but you can adjust. The next day I went through a breakfast, or it could have been a snack, a breakfast with different toppings you can put on your steel cut oats. As you see here, I have some of the things I use during the week. I have the nuts, the honey, obviously the steel cut oats, the frozen fruit, the mixed berries, different sweeteners if you'd like to put those on there. The steel cut oats in the large half gallon mason jar. The moon pie. That is basically two cookies with marshmallow in between and it has some icing. So you can cut that up for your sweet treat bar and put it on top of the steel cut oats. I think this week was a huge success for me. It gave me time to sit down and look at what's in my prepper pantry, prepper freezer, prepper refrigerator, speak with my neighbors look outside and see what my fruit trees were doing and be very creative with what I had already in my home and in my group that we share things with our neighbors. It goes to show that if you put things in your prepper pantry you don't have to eat just the basics. Not eating just oatmeal every single morning. You can have oatmeal twice a day. If you had to, you could have steel cut oats three times a day and you could have a variety. I know that on the other two channels in the collab, they have wonderful recipes that you can fix so go and check those two channels out also. I was very surprised that when I sat down and started to write out all the different things I could do with steel cut oats, I was amazed. In the upcoming weeks, I'm actually going to continue with some steel cut oat recipes. I'm not going to give anything away yet, 
but it's not only going to be for dessert and it's not only going to be for breakfast. I'm going to broaden my horizons and take the basic steel cut oat and make it into a gourmet dish in my mind. All of these products and, and items will be coming from my prepper pantry. They will not be purchased at the store. They have been purchased at the store previously, but I am not going to go out and purchase anything extra. I am still going to ration, so to make it go further. And steel cut oats are very filling. By themselves, they're very, very healthy. You can add different toppings and it's still healthy. The fruit, the nuts, uh, different types of sweeteners if you want, you know, a little bit of honey, a little bit of stevia. You can actually go out and I have many, many, I don't want to say acres, I have a lot of mint, different kinds growing. You can go out and dress that steel cut oat dish up in the morning or it could be for the sweet treat. Pick some mint leaves, wash them thoroughly, dry them and put them on top for a garnish. It just dresses everything up. When you go to a restaurant and they have parsley on the side of the plate, it just gives it a, a, an extra touch. Again, I am going to continue on in the coming weeks and I'm going to have more recipes and ideas for you to use your steel cut oats and the things in your prepper pantry and on your homestead to keep a variety going. If things were to shut down, after a while you don't want to eat just steel cut oats. You want more. You want some variety, a different flavor. You can add cinnamon. You can add so many more things that I have. I could have, you know, put on the counter, but I didn't. I'm just keeping it simple right now. I hope you enjoyed this collab. I hope you enjoyed my videos on steel cut oats and different ideas to use with steel cut oats. I want to thank all my subscribers, my present subscribers, and my future subscribers. If you enjoyed this collab and the video today and the wrap up, give me a thumbs up in the comments below. Let me know what type of dishes do you want me to feature with steel cut oats? What are some ideas? I'll have my email in the description below. You can email me if you don't want to put them in the comments and let me know what you use steel cut oats for. Share with all the viewers. Things might get to the point where we have to be extremely creative with the items that we have in our prepper pantry. I am so glad everyone stopped by. I enjoyed this thoroughly. I hope to do it again soon. Maybe we'll do this in July and take another product from your prepper pantry. I hope to see you again soon and go try some steel cut oats.